Shalom, Kahala, Yahawa, Bahasham, Yahawa Shai, Bahasham, Rakakodash, the Ba'anas, to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone, who taught me this truth and rule well. Salutation and citations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so. To you I say Shalom, to the Akiam and to the Akwaf. I'll be brothers and sisters, Adawan Ratizah, that is to say, Lord willing, hopefully by the end of this lesson, you'll be edified. This is your brother Amawan Ibad from the GMS Miami camp, back again with another lesson to the spirit and power of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, to feed the lambs of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, as commanded. And this lesson is going to be entitled, World War III, it's clear to see, all right, that there's going to be a World War III. It's clear to see, World War III, okay, prophecy. That's prophesied, all right, in uh, many parts of the scriptures. Okay, it's clear to see this uh, build up, um, Things being moved around, okay. Uh, basically, it's the Lord making it happen, okay. The scriptures tell you how the Lord, uh, he mustered the host of the battle, okay. So, yeah. As a matter of fact, let me get a quick scripture, and I got a video here I want to play real quick. But let me get a, let me grab a quick scripture. Scripture that comes to mind. Uh, I just quoted it, but I'm going to grab it. This is the book of uh, Isaiah, the 13th chapter. And the fourth verse. It says, um, <clears throat> It says, um, The noise of a multitude in the mountains, like as of a great people, a tumultuous noise of the kingdoms and nations gathered together. Lord of hosts, muster it the host of the battle. Okay? At the end of the day, it's the Lord who muster it the host of the battle. All right? The Lord is gathering the nations for his purpose, for the controversy of Zion. That's that's what that's what World War Three is about. The controversy of Zion. It tells you that in Isaiah the 34th chapter. Because what they did to the to, to the lost people, to the apple of his eye. Okay, so we know that the word of the Lord does not uh, return unto him void. Okay, so we know it's gonna happen. Okay, now let's get real quick. <clears throat> um, when you read Isaiah the thirty-fourth chapter, I think it's like the eighth verse. All right, it tells you. So when you read up. It tells you how I read it, verse 5. It says, For my sword shall be bathed in heaven. Behold, it shall come down upon Idomir, which is the Greek way of saying Edom, and upon the people of my curse to judgment, the wicked, Esau. It says, The sword of the Lord is filled with blood, and it is made fat with the fatness, with the blood of lambs and of goats, with the fat of the kidneys of rams, okay, which is a representation of the people, okay, that um, when those when those uh, ICBM uh, intercontinental ballistic missiles when they shot into the ends of the earth, as it tells you, second second as the sixteenth chapter, the thirteenth verse. All right, the daughter of Babylon's okay, the, the land the land of the Chaldeans, modern day uh, uh, daughter of Babylon, aka America. Okay, is a uh, 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 is a is a big altar. Okay, and uh, the people. Are going to be sacrificed, sacrificed, man. Because, all right, that's 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 speaking of the lake of fire. Okay, what's going to be created through ICBM missiles, man? When they begin to be shot into the ends of the earth, once again, according to uh, Second Ezra, the 16th chapter and 13th verse. All right, it says with the fat with with the fat mm -hmm. of the kidneys of uh, uh, of uh, rams. It says for the Lord had a sacrifice in Basra. And a great slaughter in the land of Idumia. Okay? It says, And the unicorns shall come down with 
with them and the bullocks with the bulls right and their land so like yeah, and, and, and it says and their land shall be soaked with blood and their dust made fat with fatness for it is the day of the lord's vengeance and the year of recompenses for the controversy of zion right that's the point of what i wanted because that's what it's for it's for the controversy of zion okay so yeah um it's gonna get a real graphic at some point okay it's gonna get real graphic at some point okay now i got this video here i want to play this video okay from the brother all right the beloved brother from gms i i, I don't have the brother's name but um this page is the elect uh the hopeful elect tree it's a lady even even women could see it man you know it's clear to see world war three is going to happen so let's listen to this video real quick and we can get some a few more precepts and close it out okay so uh let me turn turn uh turn on this notification so you'll be able to hear the video and then uh, we could go from there So I heard someone say something that really struck me earlier today. They were saying that, you know, we keep saying World War III, it's coming, it's about to happen. Um, it's happening. It's it's already happening. And then they said, uh, you know, like Americans. Yeah, so like she said, it's already it's already happening, man. And there's a woman. And she, she can see it because it's clear. If you got eyes to see all right. If you're looking through spiritual lens, you 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 the scripture said, "Imagine the time diligently within itself, and when thou seest part of the signs come to pass, then thou should know that it is the very same time when the highest will begin to visit the world which he made." The Lord left signs, man. Isaiah, the, uh, Matthew the twenty-four chapter goes into our, uh, verse six where it says, um, "And there shall be wars and rumors of wars." Okay. All you got right now uh, 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 is, is is rumors of wars and wars going on, man. Okay, you have a, 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 a sort of like a tit-for-tat thing going on right now with Israel and Iran, okay? They, uh, they, uh, they saying Iran could possibly uh, 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 retaliate, all right, for, for their general or their commander uh, being uh, deleted, okay? Some, uh, about a week ago now, I think it is. So... We live in a world where we in those times, okay? But it's clear to see where it's going, where it's going to lead, and tensions are being built up, okay? You got the war with Russia and Ukraine, okay? You got uh, the U.S. sending our, our, our naval ships over to the region. So clearly you could see um, the time that we're living in, man, okay? But uh, let, let the video play some more. So even Americans are just so individualistic that if it's not happening to them, then it's not happening. Until we have air raids over New York City, it's not going to be a World War Three. I mean, just a few hours ago, the blue and white country launched strikes on Lebanon. We are being pulled into this, and y'all, you need to get ready. Because it's gonna come to American soil. I just, I just know it is. Facts. Yeah, let me, let me play. It. Let me play it one more time because the scriptures tell you clearly. Okay, Babylon is gonna be made desolate. So I heard someone say something that really struck me earlier today. They were saying that you know we keep saying World War Three, it's coming, it's about to happen. Um, it's happening. It's it's already happening. And then they said, uh, you know, like Americans are just so individualistic that if it's not happening to them, then it's not happening. Yep, complete Until we have com complete complete walking zombies, man. They don't. The only thing they care about is watching sports, basketball, and all of these kind of things. Meanwhile, okay, the, the, the world is crumbling around them. Okay. Parades over New York City is not going to be a World War Three. I mean, just a few hours ago, the blue and white country launched 
strikes on Lebanon. We are being pulled into this, and y'all, you need to get ready because it's gonna come to American soil. I just, I just know it is. Now, one one of the interesting things that she said, she said we're being pulled into this. But at the end of the day, okay, at the, at the at the end of the day, we read the scripture, okay. The Lord mustered the host of the battle, okay. He's the one. At the end of the day, the scriptures tell you that there is no man that can resist his will, okay. <laughs> so these nations can't back out of this if they want because these things are already prophesied. For an example, this scripture right here, let's get it, um, what's that, Revelation chapter 16 and verse 12. This is a prophecy that's happening right before our eyes. Okay, the, the, the Euphrates River is, is being dried up. This was prophesied over 2,000 years ago that this would happen to make way for, for the preparation of the kings of the east. That's, that's Russia and, 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 and his bands. All right, it says, uh, Revelation chapter 16 and verse 12. And the sixth angel poured out his vial upon the great river Euphrates, and the water thereof was dried up. Do a Google search and, and, and you would see how the Euphrates river is drying up. It says that the way of the kings of the east might be prepared. Okay? Uh, when he speaks about the, the way of the, the kings of the east, that's speaking about Russia and the nations who we're going to be a god unto. Okay? Because when you go to Ezekiel, the 37th chapter, so like the 38th chapter, okay, it tells you how, all right, Russia is going to be a god unto the nations. It says, it's, it's, it says Gog, all right? But that represents Russia in these times. And then when, you see, when you see Gog in the scripture, Gog, okay, Gog and Magog, okay? Or Gog from the land of Magog. Or you see the, the, uh, or the Medes, that's speaking of Russia, okay? Uh, real quick, let's jump in here. Uh, this is, Ezekiel chapter 38 and verse 4 says, And I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaws, and I will bring thee forth, and all thy armies, horses and horsemen, all of them clothed with all sorts of armor, even a great company with bucklers and shields, all of them handling swords. Persia, Ethiopia, Libya with them, all of them with shield and helmet. Gomer and all his bands, the house of Turgomar, and the north quarters and all his bands, and many people with thee. Be thou prepared and prepare for thyself, thou and all thy company that are assembled unto thee, and be thou a guard unto them. Right, so see, they're going to be, you're actually going to be a guard unto these other nations. You see, for the Lord's purpose, they're going to be used, okay, for the Lord's purpose, okay? So, that's that's why the, the, Euphrates, the Euphrates River is being dried up to make uh, way for the uh, prepare for the the, the, the the kings of the east, man. And the scripture speaks about how um, uh, uh, the Lord said He's gonna take away uh, the northern the northern army, okay? The northern army that's speaking of the the the, 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 the forces in the daughter of Babylon that's gonna go over to the east, okay? Okay? And the scriptures speak about the least of the flock that's gonna draw them out, okay? So at the end of the day. You know, going around it, man, it's clear to see. It's prophesied and it will happen. Remember, World War One was prophesied. That happened. Okay, 1914 uh, through 1918. Okay, uh, which is Revelation, the ninth chapter, the 12th verse. Okay, World War Two was prophesied in the scriptures more than 2,000 years ago. Revelation 11 and verse 14. Okay, which speaks about uh, the, the Second World War and the Third World War. Okay, the third world war is prophesied, Revelation the eighth chapter, the thirteenth verse. Okay, so I'm gonna get those two, and we gonna get ready to close out. Also, Revelation chapter sixteen and verse sixteen. But let's get Revelation eleven and fourteen. Okay, Revelation chapter eleven, because it's clear to see, man. World War three is clear to see. All right, Revelation chapter fourteen and verse. Exactly, Revelation chapter eleven and verse fourteen. The second woe is past, World War II, which was 1939 through 1945, right? The second woe is past, and behold, the third woe cometh quickly. The third woe cometh quickly, all right? Let's get another one. Um, Revelation chapter 8 and verse 13. It says, And I beheld, 
and heard an angel flying through the midst of heaven saying with a loud voice, Woe, 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 okay, the third woe, to, to the inhabitants of the earth by reason of the other voices of the trumpet of the, of the three angels which are yet to sound, okay? So this is a proof of a future prophecy, man. World War Three, it's clear to see. All right. Now, the Lord say, His determination is to gather the nations, that He may pour His indignation upon them. Right, as Zephaniah, the third chapter and the eighth verse. Right. It's the Lord who who who, who muster with the host of the battle. Let's get um, uh, Revelation sixteen and verse sixteen. It says, "And He, who's the He, the Lord." He's the one who's doing it. And he gathered them together into a place because the scriptures tell you how the Lord works on the minds of the kings, man. Uh, Proverbs chapter, uh, what is that? Proverbs chapter 21 and verse 1. Okay, the heart of the king, meaning the, 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 your heart, the Hebrew word for heart means lab, which, which is your mind. The heart of the king is in the hand of the Lord and he turn it whithersoever he will. So as a matter of fact, let me grab that scripture. Let's prove that real quick. And then we can read Revelation 16 and verse 16. We can get ready to close out. This is uh, Proverbs chapter 21 and verse 1. The king's heart, meaning your mind, right? The Hebrew word for heart is lab, which means your mind. So the Lord controls the mind. The king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. And as it says, as the rivers of water, he turneth it whithersoever he will. See? So... You, you, nobody. There's no, no, nobody could resist the will of the Lord, man. So he, his, deter, his determination is to gather the nations. Okay, remember this is for the, the, the judgment is for the controversy of Zion. So this is Revelation chapter 16 and verse 16. It says, and he gathered them together into a place called in the Hebrew tongue, Armageddon. Right. So that's going to be a, a mountain of troops. Har means mountain. Gad means troops. All right, mountain of troops. This is going to be. Uh, the, the, the valley of decision because the Lord is going to judge there. He's going to judge the nations round about. You know, it tells you that in Joel, the third chapter, how he's going to judge the nations round about. Okay. Uh, let's go to real quick. Joel chapter uh, 3, verse 2. I will, I, will, I will also gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat. We know to be Yahweh Shepat. Okay, Yahweh judgment. And will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage, Israel. All right, we've told you already this is for the controversy of Zion, right? Isaiah 34 and 8. It says, whom they have scattered among the nations and part of my land. So, yeah, that's what it's for, the controversy of Zion. All right, World War III is a, is, is prophecy that must come to pass, man, because the word of the Lord does not go and void. And, and, and the word of the Lord is faithful and true, man. So it's clear to see World War III, the prophecy, all right? Uh, it's going to come to pass because it's the spoken word of the Lord. So I'm going I'm to end the lesson there, giving all honor, glory, and praise unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakwadash, that by honors to the elders and the apostles of great millstone who taught me the truth and rule well. Salutation and citations to the brothers out there that are pushing this truth and truth and in sincerity. All right. So with that, I'm going to leave it there. Until the next time, Shalom.